So for the last four days, we've been in this house. The floors are really slippery. I can do that whole Tom Cruise thing. So in the last video, you got to see this amazing house and just some of the amenities, but we've been here for a little bit now, and now we're gonna share with you why we're here. There's nowhere else that feels more like home to us than the Pacific Northwest. Maybe it's because it's where we got married and lived those first few years we were together that makes it feel so much like home. No matter the sentimental attachment we have to this place, it's undeniably beautiful. When we had the chance to pick any of Wander's properties to visit, we knew that the PNW was where we wanted to be. Bandon, Oregon is a small town located on the southern Oregon coast. To get there, you drive through winding mountain roads to the Cascades that are lined with those massive, iconic evergreen trees. Getting to Bandon is half the fun as you watch the landscape change from high desert to green mountains and finally level out to the beautiful beaches with rocks jutting up out of the ocean. Most people visit Bandon for its world famous golf course and while we're sure that's awesome and all, we don't golf. We chose to visit Bandon for the landscape and its close proximity to the Redwoods and the Cascade Mountains that we love so much. Here's a little bit of our week in Bandon as we get to spend five days relaxing and working in one of our favorite places on Earth. So how do you turn it on? So this is our first time to ever, one, be in a Tesla, and two, drive it. I'm excited. I feel like I'm, I'm a Jetson. I'm in the future. Meet George Jetson. It doesn't make any noise. So does it drive itself? No, it doesn't make noise. How's it feel? So it feels weird because the pedal like when you push your foot on the pedal it goes obviously but then once you take it off you know how a normal car will just kind of keep on creeping that's like me taking my foot off the pedal I'm not really used to that we know that people have been driving Tesla's for well over 10 years now we have not <laughs> we're not necessarily the most high-tech people nor do we have the money to buy a Tesla but this is really cool so for us if you've been if you've had a Tesla for years just just ignore us and our fascination or maybe you can sympathize not sympathize you'll understand where we're coming from being excited about this because this is pretty cool i mean it does feel like something from the future to us we've never driven a fully electric car and just because we're late to the game of ever having driven a tesla it doesn't take away from the fact that this is a really cool feature in the house you get to just drive one of these around for free. I mean, it's included in the cost of the rental. It's not an extra charge. So not only do you get to stay in a really cool house, you get to look like you belong in the really cool house. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch. Are you ready? I'm ready. It scares me how confident she is. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not speeding just getting it up to the speed limit quickly. Oh my oh gosh. <laughs> Do you guys know, I used, so I went to space camp and I did the G-Force ride as a kid. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's what this feels like. I never went to space camp. You never went in auto drive? All right, you ready? Autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I've heard people say that our generation, this is gonna be like our heart, our biggest mental block is like self-driving cars. So it's driving itself, right? Yeah, I have to keep my hands on the steering wheel. Tesla will not allow you. It can sense if you take off your hands. Do it, show me. 
it will take it a second, but it'll tell you, like, if you've taken your hands off, it's like, put your hands back on the steering wheel, and then it'll even tell you, like, apply more pressure. Like, they want to make sure that you have a good grip. That way, if you do need to take control, you can. It's driving itself right now. It's driving itself. Okay, we just got a speed drop. Let's see if it picks it up. Whoa! Oh, see, it doesn't know which lane to pick. Oh! It did. It got the speed change. Well, it wants to stay. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay. It's not perfectly smart yet. <laughs> Excuse us if we just blow through a stop sign right now. We're not trying to break the law, we're just trying to embrace the future. So we're here in downtown Bandon. I'm hungry. This is a great place to get some fish. can't be at the beach and not get fish. And everybody told us to go to Bandon Fish Market. So here we are. It smells good. I got salmon chowder and Chris got fish and chips, cod fish and chips. Chris doesn't know this, but I did sneak and have a french fry or a chip, I suppose, while he was in the bathroom. It is good. It was standing room only in that restaurant. So obviously everybody here knows what's up. It was very good. It's good nap food, I'm ready for a nap. All right, let's go back home. So the Tesla's cool, but I'm gonna try the e-bike. So this bike is a Super 73. I've never heard of it, but it's electric and it looks pretty cool. I know I'm only going 20 miles an hour, but I feel like Steve McQueen right now. This bike is a ton of fun, but check this out. Was it in my mind? When red and white standing in the street. Where we left the night on motorbikes with wheels. Yes, in my mind, you never go away. Sway and tear. I have a hard time talking on camera about what's going wrong because I think in the grand scheme of things we have a really good life. You know, we have amazing opportunities and you know we have a job, we have a roof over our head and food to eat. But that doesn't mean life is perfect. It, it's definitely been a very challenging uh, few months, but really a year or so. And so I think coming out for a workation, just even allowing for that time, setting it aside intentionally has been very hard. It wasn't until Wanda reached out that we actually took that step and was like, yes, we're officially doing this. It's something we had aspired to and dreamed to, it just didn't happen. But this, we jumped at the opportunity to work with Wanda because one, we've wanted to stay at their places for a long time and check them out. And two, it just, it gave us that excuse to let's go and let's step out and break out of the 
mold of the everyday for a little bit. It gave us a chance to hop in the car and just drive instead of flying. You know, instead of a five hour flight, we did a five day drive. And while that might seem irresponsible to some of y'all, maybe that does not sound like fun to us, it's about a process. It's about going. It's watching the changing of the landscape and the changing of the weather. And it just, the whole process of coming out here just felt a little bit like therapy, I think. And I guess it's kind of cheesy, but it just felt, it was a process. It was getting here and getting to rest and sort of putting away that burnout and getting inspired. Hello. Are you sad to leave? I am. This has been a really nice treat to be able to be here. It's been a really great experience. I cannot recommend it enough. Even if you're not self-employed, if you have a stressful job and you just want to get away or for a vacation, I would love to be able to split one of these houses with friends one day and just sort of make it a friendcation. Are you sad to leave? Sarah told me earlier that I would have to pry her away from this house. It's true. I'm gonna lock myself in. Get me out of here, Wonder. <laughs> Good luck. We're changing the locks. They're not gonna be able to get in. Everything's, you know, this is a smart house, so we're just gonna change the router password. It's all ours now. This has been really fun. This has been a good good opportunity. I would love to check out some of their other locations. I think maybe Arizona would be fun. Yeah. There's one in Asheville, Florida. I mean, they're all over. Yeah, so if you don't know, check out the link down below. You can see all their different locations. Highly, highly recommend visiting, coming to a wander home. Um, it's been an awesome work slash vacation. And unlike other vacation, I think we've said this, but unlike other vacation rental companies, they're all owned by the same, all the homes are owned by the same company. So you know what you're gonna, ex what you're gonna get. So what you see here in this home that we're gonna get is pretty much what you're gonna get at any of the other homes. I mean, sure the amenities will vary a little bit, but the standard will be the same. So I can guarantee you, you're gonna have a great night's sleep in that bed. So with that said, we're leaving the Tesla behind. We're getting in our Nissan rental car and we're heading the road. Let's go. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.